Hello everyone, Vicente Hill from HDTV Test here. A few weeks ago, a big story was doing the rounds about how 2020 model year AV receivers contain an incompatible HDMI 2.1 chipset that's unable to pass 4K 120Hz video signal from HDMI 2.1 sources to HDMI 2.1 TVs. Armed with only incomplete information, certain quarters even proclaim HDMI 2.1 to be broken, when that's obviously far from the truth even as the news broke. Fast forward to today, and we have our hands on three of the main consumer HDMI 2.1 sources, namely the RTX 30 series graphics card, the Xbox Series X, and the Sony PS5, together with a Denon X2700H, a 2020 model year AV receiver which contains the buggy HDMI 2.1 chipset. I am going to send a 4K 120Hz video signal through the receiver, then to an LG C10 or CX OLED, to check which source device works and which doesn't, so you can get a complete picture about the issue. First up is the Sony PS5, and as many of you may have seen from my previous videos, it works with the Denon X2700H, passing 4K 120Hz video signal to the LG CX with 12-bit 422 chroma, in the process also confirming that the HDMI 2.1 bandwidth on the PS5 is currently capped at 32 gigabits per second. Now, we know the buggy HDMI 2.1 chip was supplied by Panasonic Semiconductor Solutions, which has since been acquired by Nuvaton Technology, and on the Denon X2700H, if we peek through the hole, something I'm always willing to do, we can see a chip carrying the Panasonic logo. And it just so happens that the PS5 is also using a Panasonic chip from Nuvaton according to this fantastic teardown from Japan. A Panasonic chip on the PS5 working perfectly fine with a Panasonic chip on the Denon receiver? Color us dual shocked. Next, we tested the Xbox Series X, and even though the relevant edit was passed on from the console through the receiver to the TV, with all green ticks, when we selected 4K 120Hz, the television just displayed a no-signal error message from the Denon X2700H. Interestingly, once we set the signal format from 8K Enhanced to Enhanced, meaning that we are using the Transition Minimized Differential Signaling or TMDS method in HDMI 2.0, instead of the Fixed Rate Link or FRL signaling method in HDMI 2.1, we could actually enable 4K 120Hz through the receiver. But because HDMI 2.0 is capped to a bandwidth of only 18 gigabits per second, the chroma and bit depth were downgraded to 8 bit 420, which means you would lose HDR support. In other words, the culprit for the incompatibility between the Xbox Series X and the Denon receiver was the HDMI 2.1 FRL signaling method. Last but not least, we tested an RTX 3090 Founders Edition graphics card, and by using ultra high speed mm. HDMI cables that have been certified by HDMI licensing administrator, Updating the NVIDIA driver to the latest version at the time of publication, as well as making sure that the HDMI bandwidth did not exceed 40 gigabits per second, which is the limit on the Denon X2700H, we managed to send a 4K 120Hz video signal from the RTX 3090 through the receiver to the CX, with the freezing information bar on the CX confirming that the incoming video signal was in 2160p UHD resolution. 120Hz refresh rate in 10-bit RGB chroma, consuming a total HDMI bandwidth of 40 gigabits per second, 10 gigs at 4 lanes, with HDR and G-Sync working at the same time too. However, the connection was very flaky, frequently leading to a corrupted image, requiring us to turn off HDMI Ultra HD Deep Color on the television and then on again to restore the correct picture. Perhaps a firmware update from either Nvidia or Denon can resolve this issue. So what conclusions can we draw from our test? Out of these three HDMI 2.1 sources, only the Xbox Series X was truly incompatible when trying to send 4K 120Hz through the receiver, so you will need to connect the Xbox Series X directly to your television, then send the sound out via ER to the receiver. One potential clue on why the PS5 and the RTX 3090 could at least pass a 4K 120Hz video signal through the receiver to the LG CX could be gleaned from the Denon information screen. 
These are the details for the PS5, showing an FRL or fixed rate link of 32 gigabits per second. But note that on the resolution line, there is a suffix A behind 4K 120. And on the information screen for the RTX 3090 confirming an FRL of 40 gigabits per second, we'll also see the resolution listed as 4K 120A. The Xbox Series X failed to establish 4K 120Hz video connection, so we only see its resolution listed at 4K 60. Let's find out what the A suffix means. If you look on the HDMI.org website, suffix A means that the HDMI signal is uncompressed. Suffix B means that the signal is compressed. That's display stream compression or DSC. And suffix AB means that the signal can be both compressed or uncompressed. Now, from Microsoft's explanation of the Xbox Series X architecture at the Hot Chips 2020 Symposium back in August, we know that the Xbox Series X is using a 40 gigabits per second HDMI 2.1 chipset with DSC. Putting all these pieces of information together, it is very likely that the Nuvoton Panasonic chip on these 2020 AV receivers from Denon, Marantz, and Yamaha can only process uncompressed HDMI 2.1 signals and not those denoted as compressed. As a result, the Sony PS5, which also happens to use a Nuvoton Panasonic chip, and the NVIDIA RTX 30 series cards would work with these AV receivers because these source devices are sending out 4K 120A signals, whereas the Xbox Series X, which has been confirmed by Microsoft to incorporate DSC within its HDMI 2.1 signaling, just wouldn't work. At the time we published this video in November 2020, the incompatibility between the Xbox Series X and these AV receivers appeared to run at a hardware level, so a firmware fix wouldn't be possible, but let's wait and see what Denon, Marantz and Yamaha can do for affected owners. Hopefully this video will give you a better understanding of the situation surrounding next-gen consoles and AV receivers, and I would like to thank Mr. Nico Juran editor at CT Magazine in Germany who first broke the AV receiver HDMI 2.1 bug story for contributing to the information presented in this video so you can make a better purchase decision. No, the sky is not falling. No, HDMI 2.1 is not broken. The Sony PS5 works fine with these AV receivers and the RTX 30 series cards can pass 4K 120 signal through these receivers although with some instability which hopefully can be resolved with firmware updates. The only truly incompatible source is the Xbox Series X, and only if you send a 4K 120Hz video signal using the HDMI 2.1 FRL signaling method. If you would like to watch some of our other videos on HDMI 2.1 and next-gen consoles, I've created a playlist here if you would like to click on it, and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.